Welcome to the Empire of the Rampant, and welcome back to my kick around of Poland campaign for the Zom Sort of War mod set during the fall of Constantinople, where Constantinople has fallen and now we need to try and reclaim it, as uh, this is going to be probably the best way, I think. I want to try and see if we can resurrect the Roman Empire. If I'm able to, and this is probably the best place to try, it has a lot of Orthodox uh, religion right now, and if I can get a rebellion to kick up in there, I might be able to get them to respawn. And I can then try and continue to hold this city right next to them to maintain their, to make sure they are safe. So I think that's not a bad idea. Also, that one's a really high Catholic, so it works out wonderfully. So we're going to be starting to push on into the Ottomans today. Um, I need to have it so we're going to be trying to push on into Chilia. And basically, I want to have it so they're going to hold these two regions. This region and Bacau. Macau needs a little bit more, so I'm going to at least grab you for sure another Halberd unit. Um, I also want to give you guys uh, some Cav, and then also, yeah, some guns. I need some guns or some uh, other more crossbows, and then make sure that we just have it so that, hey, we we'll have a decent garrison in that area. I think I might just grab, like, these two guys as well. Like, I don't know if I want to have all my best infantry in here, because I do want to, like, showcase these guys in my in my own fight ar armies, but also, I know... These two areas are going to be fighting for their lives for a while because I don't intend at the moment, at least right now, to push down like fully into the lands of the Ottomans. I really want to have it so that we're going to be trying to do kind of doing more of a proxy war with them, um, focusing on Anatolia right now first because I have a really good position to try and hold them at bay. So that's what we're going to try and focus on. Um, still slowly but surely trying to get my fleet up here. Especially I'm going to need that before we really make my way down over this way too. So what we're going to be doing is right now, got a couple guys here ready to try and push on into you. Um, I just need to get all these armies down here. We're still trying to kill off more of these rebels. And once we kill off more of these guys, we'll then be able to have it so that basically... I'll have like one army here ready and waiting like once we kill these guys to push on into Chilia. And then the other forces will make their way over, have to kill this one, and then I can have it. So by then, I'm hoping I will have a fleet that's strong enough to be able to set a sail over to Anatolia. Um, although, first, we will strike here to just see, hey, can we take these two areas? Can we cause a rebellion? Can we get the Romans back? I'm hoping we can. No! Well, anyways, uh, he wasn't somebody that I really cared too much about. I do hate how it's going to make it so my population around crack. I was going to continue going down. Um, I just need to get you guys some more public order, public just growth around here. Um, I can just get better farms around here probably is probably the best bet. Let's see, that gives a little bit of health bonus too. Um, ooh, that's a lot of nice bonuses there. Um, yeah, no, let's say we'll just go with the farmland here because it's a little bit surely. Oh, I can also probably have it so we're not. I don't know, a max tax right here. Um, uh, that might be a good thing to do. But that does make it so now my new faction leader is now King Stanislaw. Um, I don't care about you. I've already tried to have it so. Let's see. Will ya? No, you're not supposed to be the next in line of succession. <laughs> You're not supposed to be the next in line of succession. You don't have the thing. <laughs> I gave it over to you. Um, I might have to kill William. No, it says next. Uh, okay, so yeah, Eric. Okay, good, 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 good. Because he's supposed to be the one that actually. Yeah, so yeah, he's Prince. Uh, okay, good. I was, for a moment there, I was worried that they weren't going to have him be the next in line of succession, but he is still good. We'll be able to return back to my previous king. I like that. Um, I can't upgrade that right now. Oleski's already upgraded theirs as well. I don't have a lot of excess cash right now. I'd be making, if it wasn't for construction, I would be making about 10k right now. Which is not the worst. Got some more halberds there. Again, we just need to make sure we have more around this area. I would say, so again, I want to at least have this one gun unit. Maybe we want at least like one more skirmisher. At least. Your will shall, yes. I think just these two will be enough. I want to have at least have about half a stack. I think that'll be a good amount. Um, Hungary has been excommunicated. Hmm. Okay. Uh, but yeah, let's keep making my way forward with all my other armies, though. It's so like right here and here, and then these guys. Let's see. Yeah, let's fight this myself just because I'm worried about the uh, the wagon forts at all times. So we'll fight this ourselves. Shouldn't be that bad kill these guys off. Then we need to just keep grouping up with all my other large armies I've got around here. Make my way over to that other force to the south, the southeast of us right now. Kill that rebel army. Then I'll leave one of these armies back here to get ready to attack the Ottomans. 
the other one will make its way over to the other rebel army around Crimea. And then hopefully, that's all we'll need. Is just like that one army, not going to take too much damage, hopefully. And then we can easily take those guys out. Hopefully then, that means we'll be able to start setting sail. Um, I do need to make sure that, to, probably you have to make sure that at least my money that I have right now has to go towards my fleet. Because I do need to keep upgrading my fleet every turn when I can. Because that is the most important thing right now, because I cannot lose my army that makes its way over there. So that's going to be top priority. Let's get you guys group up my row of NCOM. I'm glad we've been able to slowly but surely rebuild my Royal Vanguard. I have, like, no infantry in here, though, so I do need to get some more at some point. Probably grab some more uh, spearmen and or some of my armored halberds at some point. But for right now, let's get you guys just grouped up there. You guys right there. You need to move. Let's see, that is crossbows. Yep, so you guys go there. You guys right there. I think it's just... I think that's it. Yeah, no, that's all the skirmishers that I need to move. So you guys group up. Guard mode on skirmish mode off you guys there and then cav honestly i don't even think i really need you uh unless they're not gonna advance on me oh you don't want to advance on the wagon fort <laughs> i fucking wonder why <laughs> okay let's go charge them let's let's see they're all cav aren't they horse archers horse archers horse archers they're, they're all just horse archers basically except for these last two so we'll charge on in see if we can convince them to start fighting me if they won't start fighting me Oh, there's one. I don't know why the, the general's running forward. Sure. I can fight the skirmisher cat here. Let everybody else just get shot at by the wagon forts. Yeah, because everybody else make their way forward. Uh, I don't like that you guys are probably going to take some damage. They yeah, heal a little bit better than I was hoping. That's good. Let's see, that unit dead yet? Almost. It's down to about a third of its unit. These guys are being shot at, so I'm not going to worry about them. Same with this lancer unit. They should be shot at, too. Yeah, because this one's down to, like, 30. Once you guys are fully done with that unit, then I'll send you back. Although, I think they're all routing. Jones' bodyguard's still alive. Yeah, he's still alive. So he's got four guys. He might die before I get to him. But if he doesn't... Eh, the enemy army. And we don't need to run them down since they're cab. So, or it's not cab, I mean rebels. So, there we go. Today. Now we can have it so that we'll... Start gathering together again with the other forces. Keep making my way to the southeast. We just gotta get rid of that one force... I really should give some of my armored halberds into this army. I just need to make sure that Pakal is going to be safe. Like, that's the main concern. Because I'm worried that those guys are going to be safe. Because I might have it so that this army, as long as I'm careful about this, and don't put them too close to the rivers, um, I could have it so, like, around here... Actually... Yeah, like, one of the only ways to cross is right here. So instead of defending the city, it might not be a bad idea, because of the wagon forts, to defend, like, this spot instead for that area. There's no guarantee they might not walk around this way, though, too. That is possible. Okay. But what we can do is keep going over this way, grab a watchtower, and then you guys gotta keep following us around this way. There are a couple more scenarios. I'm kind of tempted to grab some of them. It's just they're so expensive in comparison to mine. Yeah, my guys are half as expensive, and this is like this. This is literally the same unit. So we'll hold off on that. I would say, let me just check and see if there's any more of those guys I can recruit. Because I know, like, yes. you're also still trying to follow along Men, with us. Yossi can't get those guys. I can get another one here, though. I can get another one there. Oh, I also have a wagon fort here, too, that I have to bring down south as well. So you guys have that. This area can also give me some more of those. Let's grab them. But then I'm... Hey, you better recruit that, guys. So let's now send you here. Yes, my lord. Get you another boat. And then also, no, it's really, probably mess it up if I did that. So have you guys go there. Then I think these areas are done too. Yeah, so we'll sail to those ones next to try and get some more ships. I think we'll save our money. Uh, or like at least try and... We can get something. Like this is a decent building to get for right now to give us a little bit more cash. Alrighty, got a little bit more money from a mission, let's see, I think. Yep, uh, no, nothing actually. I didn't get anything from that. No, I just made a decent amount of money. Faction announcements... Section, retinue expands. Good to see. Um, construction report. Oh, yeah, there we go. Got a lot of those. Um, definitely grab that. That should be the last one we need to get around here. You guys also, let's get the same thing. Also, this was pointed out, and I love this, that I always just pointed out, that um, it was on the feudal barracks. Actually, there are some dismattered rust boyatas. So, there might be other some other units that I might have access to. Um, specifically, let me go check over, like, around Madovia game. 
What I was trying to say before I was so rudely interrupted by the game is I want to check and see. Um, it should probably be focused around like areas that had uh, previous factions uh, where I'd maybe get those new unit types. So let me check around here to see because this is where Moldovia was. So maybe I'd get some more units from them specifically. Doesn't look like a Mount Sergeant's Polar Lanches. Let's try this city now too because I'm curious if I get access to anything like that from them. Knights, Lancers, Mountains, Nope, just same thing. So it's only specifically... The cat, let's just have the last check here. So we might not always be able to get something from people. No. But I do at least appreciate that I can get stuff from Kia. That is nice. I do appreciate that we get some stuff from them. So that's nice. Um, other than that right now... Action announcements, we can do that. Finish all this stuff. I do need to again grab you... And it was this over here as well. That's most of my money for this turn. As we're trying to just keep building up my fleet. So let's go grab those guys. It's doing better. I'm, I'm pretty happy about how this fleet is doing right now. So let's go right there. Uh, that should be attached to this one. So grab that ship there. And then let me keep making my way over this one. So for right now... Uh, oh, actually, we actually have the fight that I want to do right now. So you... Do you want some more men? Um... I can wait until next turn to attack them, though. Because I feel like I should have you... Grab those yes. guys, put them in the Yeah, let's wait until next Come turn to deal with this force. Because that way I can have you yes. kind of make your way over here a little bit. You can grab some of uh, these guys. Yes. Push that way, man away. You could hit this guy right now, but I actually want to have you wait. Especially also, Move since out. I don't want to forget, there is a wagon fort right here. This wagon fort is supposed to try and group up with you guys, and you only have a singular wagon fort we reverting. So let's have you make your way down this way. Probably switch one of these units out of here. At least the rebels aren't going to move for right now, so I can attack them next turn. Kill that force off. That's the second really big army. This one's smaller, so that one should not be as bad to deal with. Okay, now we can try and get those guys. This man is administratively minded. I'm going to say hold off on you. Anybody that's militarily minded, I will gladly grab. That way we can just throw them into the, uh, the Royal Vanguard. Um... Feud. Class and back off bringing Charles. Okay. New missions that thread the world of the Lord. I'm already kind of working on that. As uh, this army is now trying to make their way over to eventually be able to get over towards the lands. Oh, I need to move you guys. I cannot have all these calves just sitting here. Yeah, let's move those out of there. Just get some more random peasants to watch over this area. But uh, for right now, uh, you're making your way over. You have all my priests right now. You can keep making your way over this way. And then I should keep getting your decree upgrade right there. So do that. And then, uh, the last night. Ooh. It's King of the Romans from the But they just... This is the Holy Roman Empire. Interesting. So I have to have through sworn marriage. Interesting. Alrighty. Um, but, you know, so we'll bring these guys down over here. Oh, they did move. Move out. Where the fuck did they move? I will make them uh, oh, they're up here now. I will enjoy your land and women. I need to kill that army. Yes, Lord. I don't want to double back too much, though. My Lord. Yes. But I want to make sure we kill it. So we do need to make our way back there. So you can almost hit them. You should fear us coming, uh, you kind of make your way over here. Well, I actually go there for a second. Because I want to take one of your units out of here, which I would say this guy. Or actually, you, because then this guy can be retrained. So you can go... Um, 11 turns, 14 turns. So yeah, that one will be faster. So you, yep, go back there. Go back there. And then put the wagon fort into his army. These guys... Just group up over here. Same with you. So we'll be attacking this army next turn. Hopefully they don't... If they run back down south, at least, it's going in the direction that we need them to go, at least. Um... Other than that right now, Theodosia, you've now maxed out your thing. Let's now try and focus on some more uh, growth for you guys around here. Other than that, uh, you just got your roads, but we're now getting you your decree. And then you just got a crop rotation. I would say... Let's get you the feudal muster field. I need some more troops around here. And then I can now make sure... So back over here. My lord. I need to push you guys back. Yes, my lord. <laughs> That is so fuck. I'm gonna lose most of these ships, aren't I? No, one! Hell yeah! But that just really goes to show that I'm worried about this. Uh, so let's try and retrain my fleet a little bit here now. 
have to do that instead of recruit ships, which sucks, but that just makes me worry even more about setting sail soon. Alrighty, let's see. So we got another guy here. Um, I'll accept you. Uh, Jean Albert. Uh, King of Poland. Did I just get a new character? Did I just get a new character? I think I may have. Let's see if he did. Ha ha! I did. Your will shall be obeyed. I am definitely going to make sure. So now, I want to make sure that you're going to be uh, the leading armies later on for sure. So I am going to have you get the seal from my current heir. So let's have you sit, uh, walk all over the way over here because he still has that. So I can give you the heir ring so that you will be the next one. Because I want to keep the proper family line going. Um, building there. Their farms. Let's see. Get this. Got some better infantry troops too. Um, I keep getting that. I need some more money, so just keep grabbing that stuff. I'm gonna train a little bit of my ships there now. Um, I'm gonna have to just go over here and just retrain more. I wanted to get more, but like, yeah, no, I have to, it, it's I can retrain two, um, and that's it. Not exactly what I want, but that's okay. Um, let's now see if I can finally now actually kill this army. So they did run back down south. Orders, my lord. Again. Marching to battle with I better be able to lord. hit this fucking army. We shall not relent, ever. They're gonna run to the other side. <laughs> oh, I am hating this army. Of course. Yes. Block this fucking so river so they don't go around this way, because I feel like they're yes. going to. They're just, just, just relent, fading me. I don't, I don't need both armies. I just need one of you to hit this army. So let's have you stand there. We'll hit him again. At least this gives me more time to continue building up my economy before we hit the Ottomans. Uh, let's get some more growth around here. You can get some more trade around here, and that's good. Now, please, <laughs> tell me I can hit this army. Um, ooh. Nice. Um, Internal port, faction announcements. Construction complete. Okay, so let's have you get this again. Gives more growth and some more money. I still do need to get some more stuff in here. Um, let's see. Can I please, please kill this army now? Let's, let's see. Where'd they go? So, oh, they didn't move. Come on. I just, I just need to fight one of you. One of you needs to fight this guy. Kill him off. Then the, I can start making my way over to the east. Because this should not be that bad. It should not be that difficult to kill these guys off. So, finish this army off. Then we just have to take out that tiny little army that is nearby my castle to the southeast. I'm going to then grab some cannons, and we're going to start a war. My fleet is almost fully ready. Um, I feel like I might have to try and... I don't want to do this because it's going to definitely waste one shroop while I do this. Uh, let's see, so for now, let's kind of move up to the side over here. Actually, like, right here is good. Um, but I do need to kind of grab other vessels, so... We'll have to send my fleet to go grab other people. Or I could just have it so we just go focus on training for right now. I'll have to see. Let's see. Grab all of my skirmishers. Grip you guys up. And then put some stakes here. Here. And then on this side too. Oh, can you not move here? There we go. So I can put you there. Um, I think that should be good because then that kind of uh, protects my left flank so I don't need to actually have my infantry over there. My infantry can then just all be on the right side actually instead. So you guys all go there and then we just need to have it so Cav, I'll have you over here so you can be right there. Start deployment and then let's get all of you guys grouped up into position. Actually this one too. Right there. You want to rush up here. You need to, oh actually you need to actually go to this spot. So you go there, you go there, you're already put in position, so yeah, everybody else is good, just turn skirmish mode off, guard mode on, get in position, start firing, cab, yeah, just to kind of defend this flank over here, they're at least in range, so I don't need to get closer to them, well they do have some Mongol infantry, so I'm a little concerned about that, I think I might have uh, at least you guys go in front of the, yeah, you go in front of the wagon forts, everybody else is good here, I'd say. Just to kind of defend the flanks here. Uh, these are skirmisher calves, so they shouldn't rush forward. They're just going to try and shoot us. We need to be running into position, guys. Because they need every able-bodied gun to be fine. Some infantry over here. The stakes are going to do some good damage there. A little bit, at least. Oh, why? Oh, you just took out four of my fucking wagon forts. 
Oh, that hurts! That was from the javelins! Oh. Not only did you make me chase you for three fucking turns, you just destroyed several of my wagon forts. I'm gonna hope I recover those. I'm really gonna hope I recover those, because fuck, that hurts! Like, I've almost broken them over here. Some of you guys are in melee. That's because it's infantry. These guys are trying to finish off this Lancer. Once this Lancer's dead, I can then have my infantry go help out my skirmishers. For right now, though, uh, you guys have to just kind of hold out. My cab is almost done with you guys here. You got a lot of heavy cab in this army. The general... Let's see that. So he is back here, the con guard. I'll have to try and kill him in a second, although once I'm done with these cab units, I probably should focus my attention onto the skirmishers. Try and get them to start breaking or at least stop firing on me for right now. Because my men are holding well, even though I don't like how things are doing here with you guys being in melee with me over there. You guys are holding nicely. Slancer is slowly but surely dying there. Wagon force, keep doing your thing. Because Lancers are almost dead. So I'm taking out about half their army, also, although I've lost about a third of my own right now, too. I keep focusing on these Lancers because you are winning this fight here, slowly but surely. I definitely need to go get this guy retrained at some point, Only possibly. The okay, the Con Guard is finally fighting me in melee now, so I'm going to see if I can kill him. He's down to 16 guys already. Uh, Number-wise, let's see, how are we doing? So 16. You guys... They're being able to freely fire again. Perfect. These guys are free. Let's now have you go help out with my archers and my skirmishers over here. They definitely need some more help out. Uh, kind of coming on over that way. Uh, almost done here. Then I need to start hitting these archers. I think I've taken out most of the like heavy hitters. So like once their general's dead, who's down to eight now, uh, then we just have to take out their archers, which is not that bad. We can pretty easily run those guys down for the most part, although they brought their horse archers here. Uh, pull out of there. I do not... Lost oh. half of our men. Okay, thankfully, that's not... My general's dead. I was worried that was what was going to happen. The general lies dead. Perfect. We have sent so now, to hell. hopefully they'll start breaking. So, like, you guys get to start running there. I start hitting the archers. Now we seem to shatter you guys. The enemy there we go. Runs. Yeah, we fit, half my army died. Recovered 8%. We'll be awed by the Want to recover we some of today. my wagon forts. I did. I recovered 12 of those wagon forts. Hell yeah. So perfect. So, now we've been able to kill this army. This, is, this force will probably be the one that stays around to kind of uh, hit uh, the Ottomans and take the city from them. Because they took damage, but I have a castle nearby that is gathering. They, like, they have the cannons right now. They're the ones gathering forces together. I'll have these guys pick those units up and basically have it that should hopefully fully replenish them. And we can then make my way over to deal with the Ottomans. Finally took long enough to kill you. So, uh, I'm going to merge some of these guys, but I don't want to merge my uh, wagon forts. That's about it, actually. I'm going to take like you guys back. You're just so beat up. I'm going to send you back over to um, Krakow, although I think some of you could be retrained around here. So, go back we there. We'll keep trying to get some more men around here. Right there. That's good for right now on you guys. Got a lot of men there ready and waiting to go. I do need to just make sure that right now I'm trying to have it so that back here I'm just going to keep retraining stuff. So, keep retraining these units. As soon as they're retrained, send them forward basically. So, next turn I'll be sending in quite a few of you guys up. Um, Money-wise, let's see if there's anything I can get that I want. At least anything that's going to give me actual increases in my economy that are worth it for right now. Is that it? I'm already doing stuff for my fleet, right? I already haven't moved you guys yet. No, I haven't moved you guys yet this turn. Oh, I can retrain one more of you. I do think I need to try and have it, so we're going to grab some ships from, like, up around here. So, grab one around here, then I can view, pick up the vessels down around this area. Um, I just know I won't be able to merge that guy. Can I finally yes. move these units out of here now? Yes, I can. Okay, so... These are all mercenaries, so I'm just going to throw you around and have you just kill random units like these guys, because uh, you're not going to be able to actually really do much besides that. Um, I do have a decent amount of money uh, to still use up, though, so let me grab... I do need those roads. Get a better farm here, at least. I think that's about all I want to grab for this turn. God damn it, can you stop with these raids? I know they won't at this point in time, though. What I'm probably going to be doing, though, is uh, over here. Um, I have these forces that I'm continuing to try and retrain. Um, I'd say whenever I get enough of them, like, yeah, I grab some of these guns, too. Um, 
that's when I'll probably like bring you guys over this way, and you can kind of just kind of clear up some of these rubbles as you make your way over. Um, I should double check and see. Are there any wagon forts? Uh, none right now. Oh, wow. There's none over here. That's weird. Yes, Lord. That's so strange. Like, that's the first time in a while that I haven't seen this area with any mercenaries. Um, mission success. Did get some money for that. That's good. You found Ember. Destruction port, copper station. Uh, you guys should get the better salt mine around here. Um, you guys. So we got the cab stuff there. Um, let's see. You guys have no corruption right now. So I will actually just keep focusing on growth. So focus on growth there. And then I do need to make sure that, so what I'm trying to do is you keep going around here and you are going to grab some more vessels around here for us. So grab some more there. I'm also going to try and see if I can keep retraining you guys like once every turn. Now I can't. Uh, well, that's worth a shot though. I can at least try and bring you over. There it is. So we can bring you over here. Should be able to try and, can you move? I don't want to actually fight you. Pirate ships. They just have that much better stats than me? No, it's just... Oh, no, my defense. Yeah, their defense is like, what, 10? Yes, yeah, their defense skill is 10. Mine is not. My attack skill is 10. So, um... I'm gonna ignore those guys, but we should be able to make my way over here and try and get some more. For right now, though, again, you guys are good here for this area. Again, I just might maybe want some more guns in that area. Um, that should be safe, though. Right now... So, you guys are here. Yes. So, I'm just gonna fight... I kind of want to use you because then I can test out the cannons. But then also I want to have it so like you are supposed to be making your way over here because you're going to be grabbing these guys for you. Well, first and foremost, let's see that guy. Uh, actually, I didn't have any of those units in this army. Never mind. I thought I could retrain the guy. Or merge the guy. Uh, I did see this one, though. That one I can merge. So that can merge there. They want to grab four more units. I would say this. That's the army that I'll be using to attack the Ottomans. That I'll be using to attack this city. That's going to be interesting. So all of you at least just make your way over there and start getting ready for that. Like, wait on the bridge. But this army is the one I will use to kill off this force here. What? Why was my path blocked? What the hell? Okay. But yeah, no. So we'll fight this army, kill them, and then we can have this army go to the east, go towards Crimea. I do want my next heir to be the one that's leading the attack on Constantinople. <sighs> He's going to be trying to do that. And then once we take Constantinople, we're basically going to abandon it, leave it to rebel, and hope it becomes the Roman Empire. If it does not, I will... Because, that, again, that's the best chance we have to try and get them to respawn. So I think if we don't get them there, I will just take Anatolia myself. And we'll continue to hold them where I have uh, my uh, my basically my borders set up with them, and eventually we'll go after the Ottomans. Oh my God, I have so much cav in this army! Holy shit! <laughs> I'm now just realizing how much cav is in this army. Half of this army's cav. Well, that's uh interesting. I did not realize I had that much in here. So let's just grab like I don't know, like split them in half a little bit there. So like you guys on the right side, you guys on the left side, there. I have one unit of infantry, so you'll be the one trying to defend the wagon forts. So you can kind of just sit there. Um, you need to put some stakes down for us. So like right there. And right there. You guys will be set up behind them initially, and I'll move you forward. Oh, wait, no, actually, the unit that should be in front of the wagon forts is actually these javelins. Yeah. That's perfect. I'll kind of like stand like that more so. You can just stand on top of it. Yeah, just do that. These archers back here, too. And then I'll just have you adjust, but that should be good. Start with the battle. You guys just need to kind of switch where each person is. So right there, right there. And seeing as how I know I have a ridiculous amount of cab, I will gladly advance on you guys if you do not want to advance on me. Although it does look like you guys are going to make your way to me. So turn skirmish mode off, turn guard mode on, and then they should get over here relatively soon. They should get in range. Also, I do love the range of the wagon forts. They have such a great range. Yeah, they can almost fire as far away as these guys can. So let's have my melee, my melee cav. Get you guys to start running after horse archers, because I want them to try and not just freely shoot me. Same with you guys. So kind of go off to the side, run on into them. Number wise, they've already lost 8% of their forces. Some of their infantry is already breaking, hell yeah. 
Victory will be yeah, no. Focus on these Lancers here. Those are Halberds. Pull back away from those. We do not want to fight them. As long as we're not fighting Halberds, I'm okay staying in melee combat. Right, the Archers are fine to keep slaughtering. Let's put this back here. You guys ignore those Halberds for right now. Although one of you is kind of just casually walking away from them. Charge them and they might break, actually, with them being shaken. Ah, uh, no, that didn't do it. Pull back again. 30 enemy army's dead. Let's hit these lancers. Now try the uh, halberds again. There we go. Broken fighting to that. Pull back one more time. Give them the space. Now focus on the cav. You guys. Focus on the horse archers and then the basic infantry and skirmishers, I'd say. Yeah, like you guys are trying. You yeah, know, having the javelins in front of these, the enemy that's are great. Absolutely amazing. I honestly, maybe I should just keep recruiting some more javelins and put those in front of my wagon forts. That would not be bad. Focus those lancers there. You guys are almost, they're breaking over here. Go for those horse archers. I think I can fight those melee. You should now focus on these skirmishers. I think they're about to all break though at this point. Con guard's like the last thing that's really left alive here now at this point. Yeah, go chase him down. Uh, you can just let those spearmen be shot at. I don't think I have to really worry about them. There we go. I'm just gonna end the battle. There's no need to read uh, to chase these guys. Only got one of their generals. Um, actually, it's, it, that was the only general. Um, but there we go. So now, that's the, one of the last rebel armies I need to kill before I feel like I am in position to focus on the forces of the Ottomans. Almost there. Almost there. Almost ready to start this war. I'm gonna have to start figuring out who I'm gonna be playing next in this game after this mod. Although I kind of feel like I might just go like. I'm going to be doing this as a stream, though, but I want two campaigns in the Steam and Steel. Mm, I don't know. I'll just see. We, we still have some time until this campaign actually finishes up. I just know I'd like to play Steam and Steel, although I wouldn't actually mind just playing more Zardoms. Zardoms is by far my favorite historical Total War right now, so it's kind of hard to beat it in my mind. Um, but yeah, so if you go over this way, I'm going to have you grab this crossbow, and then basically you need to make your way over here. You'll be fighting this army, killing them off, and then... Honestly, I think I could just hit them now. Like, next turn, I mean. Because this area is ready. There's nothing else I'd really want here besides maybe, like, some artillery. Maybe some more guns. But, for the most part, I have pretty much all I need uh, to start fighting the, the, the Ottomans. So, I might just start that. I know I can get at least some more good infantry here. Like, I'm glad I now have access to some of my better guys. You need to, though, make your way back over to Krakow to be trained. And next turn, at least. I'll, I'll wait until uh, these guys are finished up. I'll move all these guys down. I might just leave those guns, at least. Like, they can make their way over and go to Bacow. Because with a couple guns... Like, I don't know if I can afford here, but if I have a couple gun units, I think we can easily hold this. Uh, this is a city or castle? It's a city. Let's see. Kingdom of the Burgundy Failure. Oh. Interesting. Okay. Um, hey, another Polish nobleman. First great uh, Hetman of the Crown. Uh, what is a Hetman? Does he have a... T uh, I'm assuming I just got another character. Did I? I did. Aha! God, this is my favorite part of his Artems. I love this. Um, does it tell me what a Hetman is on him? It's like as a trait he has. Brave, promising, loyal. I don't know what a Hetman is. Huh. Let's see, was the oldest son of Kisimus? He began a stallion of. When it was a great Hetman until 1503. Battle of Shad during the Moldovian campaign in 1509. Well, I've already killed the Moldovians, so we're doing good there! Um. Are you militarily minded? Yes. So you will definitely be one of my generals that leads uh, the front. Don't know where I'm going to have you for right now. I'm going to put you in this fort. Because I don't know where I want to send you. Um, you're coming of age. So got another guy here. Let's see. You are min ministerially minded. You're... F let's see. Yeah, you're... F oh, that's not your father. Is it? Well, I will send you somewhere else. I would say... Um, so you go here. So you can go there. Then I click the thing away. Of course I did. Okay. So let's see. You guys here get the better treaty there. 
and then I don't have a ton of money. Get the better farms here. And then I know these guys. You're supposed to be making your way over to here. I should maybe wait until... Oh, I was going to say, maybe I should wait until next turn. Because, like, you guys, I want to have, like, people to at least get that ship. Because if uh, you guys block me, I could be a bit of an issue. But, you know, I'm going to have you I'm gonna have you sit here and wait. Although, actually, one thing I could do... Oh, yes, I can. So, 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 so you... Send these guys back. Because that guy can be retrained. And that's, like, the main unit I'd want to do that with right now. But I'll say, we'll wait until, like, next turn. I want to see if they're going to move units out of the city. Um, and then we'll be trying to strike them. Yes. For right now, though, you need to make your way over here. Forward. So right there. You join up with him. Forward. And then I did see that I do need to try and still keep getting rid of more of these rebels. <laughs> so let's fight this. Hit you guys. This is just the one basic infantry unit, so it's not that bad with the rebels I've got around here. I need to do something with them. Um, after this, I need to make sure that I move... Oh, actually, I could have, um, whatever, I, I already forgot the guy's name. That's supposed to be the Great Hitman. I could actually have him kind of lead to kill my rebels around back here. I could have him do that. Wow, I have a lot of skirmishers. Okay. Let's get you guys up. Over the side. And then basically just, uh, yeah, guns in front. Infantry behind them, and I'll adjust you if I need to. Start the battle. And let's just get you in range, because this is just an infantry unit. It's just the one. It's just a dismounted Boyaros. Yeah, Ross Boyaros. So if you just make your way over here, make sure you're hitting them from behind to avoid their shields. Then we can just unload into these guys, slowly but surely. So they don't get too close, but there you go. Also, you guys need to make sure you turn the skirmish mode off. Gun should start firing any second now, but I only have like 16 of those. So they're actually not going to be able to do all that much. Although hopefully they do. You guys just keep firing on this guy. The gun should be able to fire, I would assume, soon. Like, maybe about here. Also, yeah, there you go. There's only actually one dude with this. I love that. It's even less. You guys have a little bit more, but uh, this guy's got the one gun. Everybody else is just uh, there for some moral support. Okay, let's try to move my guys up here. Move them in front. Get melee, and then just charge into these guys with my cav. Hopefully that'll be enough to break them. Only half the enemy force and yes, it is. is there we go. That That's good enough. Only men of great so now, heart. this guy has been able to take out this little rebel army. There's a little rebel army to the southeast I saw of this one. Don't know if I'm going to have these guys go for that, though. I might. Because I don't know what the hell else I'm going to do with these mercenaries. That's another issue with mercenaries. I do kind of hate... That there isn't a way to replenish mercenaries in Medieval 2, uh, normally. Uh, sometimes, mods do enable the replenishment of mercenaries. It's just very rare that they do. Um, and I kind of like when they do actually allow me to retrain mercenaries in to in mods. Just because it makes it a lot easier to keep units I really like. Because I would then be able to retrain my wagon forts. I can't retrain my wagon forts right now. Um, but you know what I was thinking of is like, yeah, next turn is when I move you guys out of here. And so... I could give these troops over to you. Um, Mikolaj? Mikola? Mikola? Is that how you spit? Um, I give you those troops, and then you can kind of go, like, clear up some rebels for me for now, I'd guess. Yep, especially since I have more Tartar raids, I definitely think I want to have this army start clearing them out. Um, spread the word of the Lord. I've already got priests around here, so I'll gladly just stay here and just get, get gather more of them, I'd say. Um, here we can wait over to the east. Town raid upgrade. Ooh. Nice. Yeah, so you can start that off there. And then, let's yes, see. You're one turn away. Yeah, one turn away from being able to hit this army. Yes, I will enjoy you got a lot of calf, but I also have a lot of calf. So, perfect. Um, the family member dies. <gasps> no, it was one of the the men in here. The other one of the original founders of the of you guys. Damn it. Okay. Um, can you train that unit? Not right now. Okay, what I'm gonna do... Oh, those are good archers. Oh, what? Oh, this actually is Hetman. Hetman was the title of the second highest military commander in the crown of King of Kingdom of Poland. In the, of Shalitia, the term Hetman was a Polish borrowing of the King... of the German Hauptmann, Captain. 
Okay, cool. Okay, I'm glad somebody had that trait. I knew there had to be somebody with it. So yeah, I definitely want to have it so that that one other guy... Oh, Piotr Miller, Piotr Miller, you're getting so old, man. But I think it's time. Yeah, I, th I think it is time for us to start this war with the Ottomans. We've uh, sat about waiting for long enough. Yeah, you guys will be there for two turns, but that's okay. Because I've got uh, this boat over here, at least, is still grabbing more. You guys already have yeah, seven turns for you. So next port that I see that we can get to is all the way down here. So next turn you'd be able to get there, but uh, eh, almost get more ships soon. Same with you guys. Five turns there. You guys are in four turns. And then seven turns. But I think it is time. I think it is time for us. Let me just first get some building stuff if there's anything I want to grab right now. Um, for us to start this war with the Anamans. Oh god, I'm worried about this. Okay, so let's grab all of... So you, 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 Holders, you, my king. you, you, yes. you, yes. you. Yes. Man, mark. Yeah, that's good. Everybody else stays behind for trains, and I can get some more guys here. But you are going to gather together. Although, ooh, actually, I don't have enough money right now. I'll wait on moving that force, because with me attacking the Ottomans and taking this city, if I take it and attack it, I will get enough that I might be able to check and see if there are any more wagon ports. Oh, God. Also, let me first check one thing. There are nothing... I hate that literally. Stop getting excommunicated. You guys are fucking up my plans to attack the Ottomans. Let's do this. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Uh, let's see, so they've got some Janicetter Archer users, uh, so like Guard Archers, do of Stakes, um, some Lancers, ca a lot, some pretty good Cav and Infant. This is all good infantry. <laughs> oh god. I've already started it though. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. We are now... Oh. Yep, we are starting this war with the Ottomans. There is no going back now, and we now have to go full speed ahead into this. At least I have a really good area to try and hold them right here while I focus them on an, in an Anatolia. That's the hope. I think that is the best plan of action for us. That way, we can take advantage of the fact, yes, we're smaller. We're a smaller faction, yes. But we have better terrain to engage them from. I do hate how my uh, wagon forts are useless here, unless I can somehow convince you guys to make your way out of the city, but probably not. So I'll just have you guys pull back. Um, but now I finally have some cannons. Um, I will find this really fun to use with um, all of my wagon forts when we're on the open field, but we're not on the open field right now. Um, I will just have you guys just get set up back here. I don't expect them to make their way out towards us. If they do, um, I don't have a lot of infantry. At least I have good infantry. So, like, I've got these guys. Again, best infantry unit that I'm going to love using, especially against the heavy infantry units they've got. So, you guys will be really good. Cav, I need you guys to group up here. And then we need to start the battle. And then I need to break open a wall section. Hopefully I can maybe break this before you guys get off the walls. Please do. Please don't be too inaccurate. Oh, they're going to run off the walls. Try and hit this section then instead. You might be able to stop them. Nope. Eh, he kind of interrupted them, but not quickly enough. But yeah, take out a wall section. And then I'm going to say one more section. Because the walls break down really nicely, really quickly. Um, we'll break down one more section, and then I'm probably going to break down towers. And at the moment, at least, ooh, I can almost get in range to like, shoot you guys if I have enough ammo after that. Uh, I love just breaking my enemy's walls down. Love it. But yeah, break down these towers next, because I want to make sure that just in case they walk back forward, they're not going to be able to just freely shoot me with their towers. Especially since I need to make my infantry count. Yeah, because I could try... Oh, some of you guys are in range. Also, which one of you has the better stats against units? Uh, the same amount. So, you're the better one that has to keep shooting buildings. So, I could try and have the... You... Try and shoot these guys. Because at the moment, I'm assuming you'll do well enough. I'm going to bring this one unit forward to try and scout out and kind of see how much damage they've taken for right now. But yeah, you try and see if I can get some good shots in here to hit this guy. Because this is a good unit. I'm hoping you guys can maybe hit them. So let's see, I'm hoping that we're doing a decent enough amount of damage per shot with my cannons. Because if not, I might need to actually have both of them keep firing. What do you do? You just keep missing. Hey, you need to stay where you are. 
And he's actually, you guys are the ones missing there. Yeah, keep trying to hit those guys. There we go. There's one tower. Let's at least take out this one, since I'm focusing on this side and these areas. I just need to take out this tower afterwards. I'm actually not getting the worst shots here. Like, honestly. Some of you got, you've, I've taken out like, what, 20 of them off of this unit? That's not the worst. Uh, this tower is almost destroyed. Once it's destroyed, then we can start making my way forward. I still wish I could move wagon forts. Because at least right now, basically what we're going to start off with is I'll have my infantry kind of move forward. I'll have them uh, behind my guns. And I'll basically try and just unload into these guys. Let's use the rest of our ammo. Just to take this tower out just in case. Um, but basically, let's move my infantry forward. So get you guys to kind of be like right here. I'll move my skirmishers to be in front of you, especially primarily guns. Crossbows don't need to be, so basically you guys will be behind my infantry. And then you guys will be in front of my infantry, and we're going to try and see if I can just shoot this guy while he's sitting there. Because again, I do not have a lot of uh, infantry, so I need to take advantage of my skirmishers as much as I can. Cav, I'd say we're going to want to have you shoot their archers and go after their archers and their cav. But basically, I want them to kind of commit. Let's see. Yeah, because if I could have it so the general's bodyguard, he's over there. So if I can have my cav run over here, run through this way, run around, go kill their general, that'd be perfect. So let's have you guys kind of run over here. Cannons, we're able to take that point out. I do wonder, if I get a little bit closer, I have a little bit more ammo. I could maybe do some more damage to the guys that are in the city center. Actually, wait. I might have an angle here. It's threading a fucking needle, but I might have an angle on those units over here in the back. These, uh, that's their Janissaries. Yeah, the Archivisors. So that might be exactly what I want to go for. Alright, now form up here. And now start unloading into the, uh, Janissary Heavy Infantry. They've got those guys. Oh, their Archivisors are here. Cav, actually, if that's the case, I might be, like, charging with them, honestly. Because if they're just chilling there... Are they getting onto the walls? They are going onto the walls. That's not exactly what I want. So, we're just going to have it so Cav. Uh, I'll just have you just run on in here. You're going to run on towards those archers of theirs. No, nope, they're getting off of the walls. There you go. If you can. Beautiful. Yeah, fight them. Uh, two of you go for the archers. So, two for the archers, two for the uh, these guys. Uh, you are being shot at. That's what I want to see. I'll have to probably pull away from you guys if you get too close. Yeah, let's pull away, focus on the archers. I mean, again, I do not want to fight you guys in melee. I want to ignore you guys if I can. Uh, try and run past them, actually. Just run past them. We're heavy, heavy enough infantry the units, or cav units, so we should be fine. Focus on the archers again. Then I'd say, uh, let's have you try and run in melee with these guys. Go over here. Don't get in the way of the gunfire, please. That's a pretty bad idea. There you go. Go for the archipusers. Just make sure they just don't get to keep shooting me. Because they're one of the few units that has enough uh, damage to do uh, actually take me out from range. And these guys are slowly dying. They're not really fighting back, which I'm okay with. I will see, however, though. Well, the whole point of me moving my cannons was to try and throw the needle, but now we actually want to kind of go back over here. So let's try and move you guys. You're still getting some good damage into these guys. And you're doing well there. Okay. Now, cannons, do try and get a couple more shots into those horse archers of theirs, I would say. Um, these guys are broken. Hell yeah. Run them down. Uh, same with my cav. Try and run these guys down so then they only have their horse archers and the general's bodyguard. Which, ideally, the way we'll deal with them Our is... The I'll try and have my like infantry try and walk enemy. up towards the city center. And, ideally, we'll just have it so you guys will get in the city center. And my cav will be able to try and flank them. Or, unless, they actually are going to try and... Oh, careful there. Stop firing, stop firing. Yeah, if they're coming to fight us in melee, then just go after them. Skirmishers are fine. Taking out 69% of their forces now at this point. Horse archers are slowly dying. They are shaken. They haven't even lost their general yet, too. Oh, that's beautiful. Well, they are now running away to the city center. So at this point in time, I'm going to have my men try and just walk up casually. My cab can f finish off their archers and their horse archers. And then we just need to deal with their general's bodyguard. Which he might... Yeah, he is now. Yeah, he is now making his way back to the city center. So he is a heavy cab unit, so we're going to want to try and flank him the best we can. So melee cab off to the side here. Infantry, just start focusing him down. We have melee cab trying... I want you to go around the side. Although, actually, I think that's fine. Oh, yeah, careful, because that's doing a lot of damage to you guys. Just start fighting them. Yeah, get on the melee with these guys. 
our men have taken control oh, of the city. Oh, they do a lot of damage. Like, my armored halberds are here. Like, they're doing some good damage. Just a little worried about my in general's bodyguards. You're in the city center, so you're not going to break, sadly. But there's nothing else I can do about that. Yeah, I love this unit already. They look bad. It's like, this is like one of the best looking units I've seen in Zardom's. Let me just look at them. So now, what's left? There's... Our men have slain the Saracen yeah, he's dead. General. Now we must so there goes the captain. Running back to the desert. All civilized and there we go. Will be all oh, there's no turning back now. Here today. No turning back now at this point. Okay. So, we now need to control this city. I'm probably, again, I think it might actually be better with this force specifically. Because it has the wagon forts. I can try and have it so that we will focus on defending that bridge crossing instead, or at least the the water crossing. I'd be careful about not putting my uh, wagon force too close to the water, but I think that'll be better than trying to maintain control of the city itself specifically. If it was a larger city, maybe it wouldn't be as bad, but it's a kind of a smaller city. But there, that gives me enough money so that here, uh, repair that. Mm, I have to repair it. I did too much damage to them with the, that. Uh, not really exactly what I wanted, but that's okay. I, I was hoping to be able to try and see if there's a wagon for it, but that is not the case. So now we just have started the war. Oh god. Okay, well, we're gonna see how things go in the next video. I think this will be a pretty, pretty good place to end for today. So I'm gonna hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, let me know down in the comments down below. I love hearing you guys have to say about this campaign. Any other thoughts on it in general? But this is Rampant, and I'll see you guys next time. I was hoping to be able to try and see if there's a wagon for it, but that is not the case. So now...